First thing which we have to realize when we look at this example, you see from the top to bottom, is that actually when we do these manipulations with my system, the letters X, Y, Z, they not involved in the process in fact, right? They just sort of a placeholders. We just put the coefficients next to them and we keep copying this X from, from, the, from the very first system down to the very last system. X, Y, Z, including the equal sign two, by the way, it was like a dead bodies. We were carrying them with us because that's the way we write things. But they didn't do any actual job for us. They were just like symbols. And that's the, when we, uh, when we realize that, uh, the first efficiency step which we can do is just we can just move away from the systems and we just can do our workings on the coefficients themselves. This is the official step of the method which says that it's, it's, it's called extracting the augmented matrix. Look at this. It's called the augmented matrix of the system. And look what, what, it, what it is. It just, what I do, I just take all of the coefficients keeping them in the order the way they sit next to their variables, but I no longer mention any variables at all. Look at the matrix. The first row of my matrix, that's the coefficients of the first equation, three, two, negative one, and I have a vertical bar in my matrix, to, which actually represents the equal sign, and the negative two to the right of my vertical bar, which corresponds to the right-hand side. Similar thing will go for the second row. That's just the coefficients of the second equation. And the last row is the coefficients of the last equation. So when you look at this matrix, let me just zoom in a little bit into this matrix. When you look at this matrix, so you effectively what happens is the column, this first column of this matrix is the one which is carries the coefficient of x across all of my equations. This one is the one which carries coefficients of y across all of my equations. And this one which carries the coefficients of z across all of my equations. The bar represents the equal sign, and that's the right-hand side of my system. So from now on, every time we have to do a system of linear equations, and we have to do this row, row like we have to do this, see, well, this, this set of steps to bring the system down to the triangular shape, I no longer will be doing this on the system itself. Instead, I will extract the augmented matrix of the system, and I will start doing my operations with the augmented matrix just by, like a matrix. And that's why actually I will use the term row rather than the term equation. In fact, all of these terms, all the steps we did with this system, we can now do on this, on this matrix. You don't have to copy that because I think it's a very easy exercise you can do without my, without my help. You can, you can do it either by just repeating these operations now on the matrix, or you can just simply just extract the matrix from the systems which appears here both ways. You will. It, it, will, it, it will do. So the matrix which will appear in the second step, if I swap my rows, or if I extract the augmented matrix of this system, will be this one, swapping, right? The second row went to the first position, uh, third one went to the second position, and so on. The, here, you got, you, you, I've got the result of my row reduction. You see the x variable disappeared, and that's why here, in the position of the x, we now have zeros. Again, I do another row swap, so so I swap actually this second row with this last one, and the result of that swapping will be this one. And finally, I do another row reduction like this, and I come to final result like this. And now I think when you look at this augmented matrix of the resulting system, you can see more clearly why we use the term triangular shape. Look at this. The triangular shape is much more transparent here than in the system. Here it is. Triangular shape on the left-hand side of your augmented matrix. So now the, this little efficiency modification to, my, to, my, to, to the method here, the method which we use, which we, the method which helps us to find this system, is now next time if I need to do something like this, or next time if you, you need to do something like this, the more efficient way of doing things will be first, when you start from the system, you go down to the augmented matrix, then you devise a set of elementary row operations, and you bring your augmented matrix down to, still I use this unofficial term, triangular shape, and then from this one, by putting the x, y, z, if I just use this x, y, z, let me just do it like this, And now putting this x, y, z back to, the, back to your coefficients, you can recover this system 
here. And then you can do the last step of the process, back substitution with this system, which is already in a triangular shape. Right. And that's how generally the method looks. The method, this method, it's called the Gaussian elimination method. Ga Gaussian elimination method. <coughs> This method is called Gaussian elimination method by the name of the German mathematician who first suggested it. By the name of the German mathematician who first suggested it. Uh, and that's the, trust me, this is the only way to approach system of linear equations when the counts of variables or nodes goes to beyond, beyond 15. Even 15. <laughs> 